Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome back to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where my friends and I play the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. The scenario is called The 19 Toll. It was written by Stuart Boone, and it, it can be found in the Mansions of Madness, 3rd edition, Volume 1, Behind Closed Doors. It's available from Chaosium. Our game master is Keith Craig, and this is Episode 3. Our recap will be given by Kent Blue as his character, Davey Mould. So, without any further delay, let's begin our journey into the darkness. Kent? Thank you, Tom. All right, so we open up on Davey sitting in the big, the big car that, that he drove up here with all of the uh, other guys. Uh, he's gripping the steering wheel real tight and kind of sweating. He's like, oh, just kind of talking to himself. I'm not sure what we've gotten ourselves into on this job. Boss sent us here to this golf course in Dundee to, to find his missing launderer, Arthur McMillan. Should have been an easy enough job. In, out, find the guy, be done with it. Except I tell you, oh man, nothing has gone right since we got here. Uh, we finally got to the clubhouse and Rory, as we pulled in, noticed some of this. I mean, as we got into the clubhouse, Rory noticed that Rory noticed that some of the stained glass windows had no light coming through. Like it was pitch dark, but only behind those windows. Now, I wasn't looking real hard whenever we pulled in, but I sure don't remember seeing any windows being boarded up or, or tarped off whenever from the outside or anything. Anyway, the rest of the fellows decided to investigate the clubhouse to see if they could find anything about where McMillan had, had run off to. Doc and Lenny headed upstairs to see if they could find this person that Doc had thought he saw as when we were pulling in. Rory wanted to take a closer look at some of the windows that wasn't letting in any of the light, and Ian headed off towards the golf shop. Me, I stood by the door with an eye on the car like any good driver would, ready to go in case we need to. Also, I need to make sure those two those two buffoons give on an Abernathy didn't go leaning up against the car again. I'm going to have to buff out their butt prints from the side. Just no respect for the vehicle. Anyway, I don't think Rory found much at the windows from what I could tell because he just looked at it for a bit and started heading off towards the uh, to follow the rookie towards the golf shop. They were getting they were getting on up the stairs, but I could hear Lenny and Doc talking about a weird wispy light or something they saw. I don't know. Uh, I tried to listen to them, but they must have turned the corner and because their voices started to fade out. Not being able to hear them, I turned my attention back towards the golf shop to see if, if I could hear what was going on. I was getting a little antsy just waiting by the door. Oh, the rookie and Rory, I don't know what they fought, what they found, but they were talking about shoddy wo woodmanship, workmanship, and a big X carved in the floor. I don't know. It was strange, but after a minute, I guess they decided not to tear into the floor because they came walking out and started heading down the great hall. By now, I'm getting bored just sitting here listening to other conversations I'm not part of. So I take a look outside at Abernathy and Gimmel, and they're off looking and pointing off towards the copes of trees. Finding that infinitely more interesting than standing by the door holding it up, uh, I headed out to see what had grabbed their attention. They were going on about seeing that hellhound, Black Jamie, I think it is. I don't know. It's some local story. Uh, I don't know. They're saying they're seeing it out in the out in the copes of trees. So nothing better to do. I said, you know, come with me. We're going to go check it out. Uh, you know, uh, and let me tell you, I don't know much about golf courses, but they must have, when they were reconstructing the thing, they must have opened up some sort of gas pocket because all of a sudden the three of us, we're walking out there. We can't breathe anymore. Uh me and Abernathy, we back made our way out, but Gimmel, that poor fella just passed out straight on the ground. And Abernathy had to drag him out by his feet. Anyways, we gave that that gas pocket or whatever it was a wide berth and got in the trees there. And uh weirdest thing, we 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 found the, the we didn't find any sign of a dog, but we found these birds that were all melted and, and like they'd been, I don't know, caught in a fire or something, and then you know, there's like the top of, of an overgrown shed or, or an outhouse, maybe. I don't know. It was weird, but there's not much I could do about it. So I headed back to the clubhouse just, just to check in and tell them what we found. So I don't know what happened, but I came into the house to such a big commotion from upstairs. Uh, I, I hear Doc and Lenny going on. And I ran up there right about the same time Rory and the rookie Ian came running up. You know, all right, I'm going to do my best to make sense uh, of what of what I saw. It we're looking in this door and everything was, was sideways. Doc and Lenny are, are standing on the wall, looking up at us from the wall directly across of us. I don't, I don't know. Doc's going on saying something about a fun house. 
I tell you, I've never been to a fun house like that, but I tell you, somebody makes something like that, they can make yourself a lot of money. Well, anyways, Doc needs Doc and Lenny need to get out of there. And you know, Rory said, go grab some rope out of Doc's bag. So I run out to grab some rope. As I come out, I see Abernathy running away from the trees, yelling about Black Jamie being real and Gimmel being old. Uh, took a moment, I got him calmed down. He said that Hellhound licked Gimmel and made him old. Uh, so he didn't want to, but I dragged Abernathy back over and we looked. And sure enough, there's Gimmel, dead as a doornail, old as can be. Uh, so I don't know. He, he looked like he aged decades. Uh, and, you know, Abernathy did his best, best to tell me what happened, but he was all confused about how Black Jamie was one color and then another color. And I don't know, he was in some sort of shock. So I left the poor guy by the car, told him if he had, saw anything else, start honking the horn. I head back in, uh, grab some rope from Doc's bag and met up with everybody. Well, I get back upstairs with everybody and nobody's there anymore. Everybody's gone. So I tied the rope off, dropped it in the sideways room uh, and went looking for him. Uh, entered and went to the ballroom and uh, – I tell you, that just keeps getting weirder because in the middle of this room, all the furniture is just twisting around like a tornado has it uh, just in the middle of the room. And I don't know. I, I, I'm i not sure what was going on, but I, th- I did end up finding Lenny and Ian. Uh, they were both over by the bar and about to cross over. Rory had already gone back there. Apparently, Doc uh, yelled out that he wanted to show me something weird as if I hadn't seen enough weird as it was. So I followed Doc into the parlor and he starts climbing the rope I dropped, just climbing up through. So I, I go back out and there he is climbing up towards me. Weirdest damn thing I've ever seen in my life. But anyways, Doc and I, we decided to go back and find everybody. And so we went back in the ballroom and there's this Tempest just twirling. And curiosity got to the best of me. I took out a coin in my pocket and tossed it at it, which I mean, turned out to be a bad idea because it bust whatever weird bubble was seemed to be holding that in and all that furniture just went flying it's wonder me and doc didn't get hit at all uh but it caused a big ruckus uh now while all that's happening from what i understand after everybody told me later rory and lenny, lenny were breaking into mcmillan's desk to see what they could find and the rookie had wandered off into the kitchen i don't know they found some new b- blueprints that showed a couple extra rooms in the basement and from what I understand from the rookie, he'd gone to the kitchen and all the dust on the ground was weird and all swirled and he heard some weird backward voice. I don't know. Everything's weird in this house. Well, anyways, we all got back together and agreed we needed to head to this basement, investigate these other rooms. I don't know. Uh, me and Doc, though, we decided already we need to cut our losses and just get gone, you know, deal with the boss when we get back to London instead of dealing with whatever's happening here. But Rory, you know, talked some sense into us. We headed down. Uh, We're heading to the basement. Rory pokes his head into the men's dressing room that he was trying to check out earlier when all the commotion happened upstairs. And, well, we found Abernathy uh, because he was sitting there, had a big old hole just poked right through his chest. Uh, I mean, but it was like it wasn't bleeding or anything. It was just like somebody pulled a part of his body out of from him. I don't know. Uh, you know, his hair turned all white. He was old. I, this time I'm starting to think, man, it is. It, it's it's Black Jamie. Black Jamie's real. Abernathy went and got himself licked. Well, Rory, being the fearless leader he is, he pushed on past. And next thing I know, there's gunshots going. Everybody's yelling about a big insect. Uh, I just back up. I'm no fighter. I'm not afraid to say so. I'm no fighter. I backed out of there. Started getting close to the car. Soon enough, firing stopped. They were talking about something disappearing. Rory said they were going to go to the basement. Uh, I gave Lenny my tire iron and Rory sent me out to wait by the car and have it ready to go. So that's where I am. I'm sitting here, got it pointed to the gate, looking in the rear view mirror, waiting for everybody to come out and waiting's hard. And look, what is that? Oh my God, Black Jamie. All right. Nice. Nice. All right. So Davey, uh, as you have lost 20% of your uh, starting sanity in one day, you uh, get an automatic bout of madness. So roll a 1d8 to see what happens. Okay. Uh, that's a five. A five. All right. So who is a significant person in your background? Uh, a significant person. Let me see. That would be my grandmother, Althea. She used to take me on log and walks through the woods uh, when I was a young kid. Ah, well, you see, uh, you, 
as you're kind of looking in the rearview mirror, you see moving in front of your car, your your grand your grandmother. Uh, she's kind of waving at you. Maybe she's got a little uh, cookie tray, you know, ready ready to give it give it to you. And uh, she just kind of smile smiles at you, and she's like, "Oh, oh, Davy dear, I made your favorite oatmeal raisin." Grandma opened the door and kind of stand out. I was like, "What are you? What are you doing all the way all the way out here?" And, and uh, those cookies do smell good, though. Uh, oh yes, yes, yes. And uh, as she starts walking walking to you toward you, uh, you can give me a. Uh, we'll just call it a. Uh, we'll just do a listen. Okay. Um, 27. I have 20. I could spend, if I can, can I spend seven luck to buy that down? You can. All right. To a success. All right. I will spend the seven luck to make that a regular success. All right. So, uh, what you, you hear the car creak, creak more as, uh, as the more weight is, is on it. And, uh, assuming that you kind of look toward the sound of the car, you see uh black Jamie kind of, kind of there, it's tongues, uh, rolled rolled out and he's got this bluish uh pus on him that's kind of dripping off and when it hits where it hits the car it actually kind of starts melting melting away it's acidic and his uh tongue kind of starts uh reaching out out toward you like his it wants to taste you yeah i yell run grandma run start pushing Oh, but they're fresh. They're fresh cookies. <laughs> go, Grandma. Go. I don't want to get licked. Go, Grandma. All right. So it's going to, uh, as you kind of go, it, it's going to, its tongue kind of le- leaps out. Do you want to try and uh, dodge it or fight back? Um, I'll try to dodge it. Okay. Oh, no. That's an 87. That's a real All bad. right. So it, it kind of, it comes out. And uh, like as you're pushing on Grandma, it, it kind of hits your arm, wraps around it, and and give me a three d six. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> two, six, so eight, uh, one, nine. I only have nine. eight hit points. I only have well, eight no, hit points. <laughs> but you, oh. it's not, not hit points. You lose. Yeah. You lose nine pow, and you age. N- Age nine years as it kind of uh kind of kind of licks you licks you, but then it it pulls its tongue back like it didn't didn't like the taste. And it's like hmm, and it it turns and then it you know how dogs will shake when they're wet. Yeah, kind of uh, shakes and some of that pus comes fly, flying off of it. And you can give me one more dodge roll to avoid being hit by the the okay. ichor. <laughs> Uh, nope, that is also, uh, that's a 65, which is also a fail, big time. Okay, well then, uh, you, oh, ouch. You take uh, five hit points as like the acid kind of lands on you, and, and it hops off the car and it starts walking toward the ha- toward the, the clubhouse. Okay, that's more than half my hit points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, uh, me const- give me constitution. Well, that's a real low stat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 85 out of 25. Okay. Yeah. You kind of, uh, the pain kind of, uh, you collapse and as you're, uh, falling down, grandma, grandma goes, Oh, but just one cookie. And as she bites into it, like this black, black, uh, tar starts leaking out of her, out of her mouth. And that's the last thing you see before the pain kind of causes you to pass out for a little bit. <laughs> All right. To the basement while Davey's, uh, resting up there. So if I remember correctly, Lenny, you were getting ready to swing the tire iron at the uh, brick wall. Right. I'm under the underneath the stairs yep. mm-hmm. at the corner, bashing away with the uh, tire on. Well, the first swing, when you hit it, you realize uh, that that the it's actually wood, but someone's someone with skilled painting they kind of painted it to look like a a brick wall, and in the darkness, you know. They didn't have to get it to hyper realism or anything. People were expecting to see a brick wall and we'll kind of see what we want to see. But as soon as you hit it, you know, it you realize it's wood and it, the tire iron needs to say kind of chunks, takes a chunk out of it. Okay. 
I know that it's super cold in here, so I'm trying to swing as hard and fast as I can for the few minutes worth of mobility that I have. All right, give me a strength and a, a combined strength and constitution roll. Okay. Um, four points from a, a uh, hard. You just need a regular. So, so you pass them both. So you're able to kind of bash your way through before you kind of get get tired. And um, yep, uh, as you uh, suspected, there is a uh, a hallway behind that false wall. Hey guys, over here! I found an opening. Find a furnace too. Bloody freezing. The hallway's a little warmer, so like when that negative 40 air hits the the hidden hallway, you kind of miss up, you know, when there's that rapid change in temperature. I think it's actually warmer on the, on the back side. Well, let's cross the floor quickly and get in there. So One I'm time. actually advancing down the hallway to the end, hoping that they follow. Okay. I'm assuming. Yeah, we follow. Do yeah, I follow, follow at least? All right. Oh, yeah. So, so we got Lenny followed by Rory, then uh, Docker. I'm I'm in front of Rory. You're in front of Rory. Okay. Yeah. And then okay. Uh, you'll come Just in last, sure bring it up the rear. All right. So, uh, so as you uh, go down the hallway, uh, Lenny uh, at the front, you see uh, there is a obvious door at the end of the hallway. And you can see underneath the the bottom, you can see a faint glow coming from it. Glow from like an a light bulb, obviously, not unnatural. Hey guys, there's act there's actually light on the other side here. Pulling my pace. Yeah. Kick it in, open it up. You want to rush in? You want me to listen? You're listening? I think we're running out of time, but yeah, go ahead. I, I don't know if we have time. I'll just go ahead and uh, take this. I'm going to go ahead and either try the door and push it open, or if it's locked, uh, I'm it going to keep it open. It is not locked. So uh, we twist the knob and turn it, it opens up. And uh, in this room, you get the immediate smell of uh, stale food, uh, sweat, and urine. And uh, two cots. You, you see two cots on the opposite on the opposite north side wall. They are empty. There's a obviously a, a table with some two rickety chairs and a uh, pack of cards cards sitting on it. And then there's a pile of books also in the corner. He's been living down here with his boyfriend. Found, yeah. And there is one. And there is a door on the uh, one more door on the wall to the right once you enter the, into the room. I feel like we just found the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain. What the fuck's going on? Has that book been written yet? <laughs> I that. It has. Yeah. It has, okay. Um, <laughs> I think we okay, found so these... McMillan. Sorry, Lenny. I think we found Mr. McMillan. Oh, there's no one in this thing. room. <laughs> yeah, but we found um, where he's been hiding out. Open the okay, other door. So, is there any smell of cigarette smoke or any? Over the, uh, there's a, like a chamber pot in here, and that's Ew. obviously uh, the strongest aroma in here. Sorry, Rory, go ahead. Uh, I'd like to look at the, the cots, um, see if there's any sort of personal effects in or around them. Um, uh, there is. Um, it looks like uh like um, men's like you know there's a men, man's razor and but nothing oh. uh, nothing personal effects that would have matched up what you would have seen in McMillan's house. Hmm. Could I um, take a look Please at the boyfriend. books? Yeah, you can take a look at the books. Um, what type of uh, it's your choice. You can make an occult roll. Or a uh, science roll. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, think that's well. Science is basically zero. 
All right. And then the cult is base. So I'll try right. it. Why not? All right. Yeah, why not? Maybe. Not with an 86. No. Man, those are, those are some big words in that book. They are big. Yeah, probably uh, Latin with a... Yeah. I'm just looking at pictures. Yeah. I don't think they're the kind with pictures. Oh. <laughs> Doc? Um, I want to go to the other door. Okay. So as you approach the other door... You can hear the sound of a uh, a machine running in the other room. Maybe the freezer or the cooler. Um, is that door locked? Fuck it is. It's cooling us right now. It is not. All right. I'll just okay. open it up. Look okay. Inside. So um, <clears throat> there's a the room with the cots. When you come in here, the other room, you can see you've got two men laying on, uh, they look like hospital gurneys. And then you've got this machine in the, the corner here, and you see a man laying on top of the machine, but he also has the uh, ram's headed cane that uh, McMillan's, uh, some pictures of McMillan had. So there's two guys laying on the gurneys, and then McMillan with the cane is sort of slumped over something? Yeah, he's slumped over the machine that you can hear running. So I'm going to walk over to McMillan. What's the temperature like in here? Uh, it's probably uh, 65, 68 okay. Fahrenheit. Um, so I go over and I confirm. I grab the guy's cane. And okay, I... g give me a power roll. 8. Uh, can I spend uh, 8 luck to pass? You sure can. I'll spend eight luck to pass. Okay. All right. We will uh we will cop back to you in a moment. Uh so Davy, you're kind of uh laying out there and um uh, you know. The, maybe the burning of the uh, acid kind of, uh, you know, the wounds kind of wake you, wake you up as you're you set up. You see uh, no indication that the dog is around anymore. Uh, no grandma. No grandma. Yep, she's she's gone. All right. Um, I'm gonna stand back up and kind of look around and. Uh, there's think, holes. There's holes in the roof of your car. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Inspect the car. See holes in the roof. Like, damn it. Uh, and then not being too comfortable being outside, I'm going to wander back towards the clubhouse, uh, very slowly, looking around, just mm -hmm. always on the lookout. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, and I'm assuming you go in then. Yeah, yeah. I go yeah. back in. Yeah. Yeah. So you go, you go in. All right. All right, so hopping back to Lenny, Ian, and, and Rory. So you guys are in the other room, and you hear this uh, thump come from the room that Doc went into. I'm going in. I'm, yeah. I'm so, following Doc in. So you go in. You see the bodies that were there, but now you see Doc laying on the ground, too. Ah, Jesus. Okay. Is the man still stumped over the machine? Yep. Uh huh. Okay. So the machine in the middle is running. Yep. I assume. Um, are, are there like wires on the ground? Is it like connected into a wall or something? Or like it, what is, it is. Yep. So, uh, so now that you're kind of looking around, you can see that the uh, the strange machine. Uh, has uh, full of knobs, dials, and switches. There are uh, two large uh, electrical cables. One, uh, one is headed toward uh, the, you could imagine it's going toward the wall, to toward the very cold room, toward the very cold room. And another, another large electrical cable is headed out toward uh, what looks like the outer wall, outside wall. Okay. So... So did Doc 
Like, so what? What did you actually do, Doc? Like, he's you're, on you're the ground. Over, you're something yeah. over, but like, I, yeah. he... <sighs> I, I was heading towards I, I the guy. Yeah, I man. What, yeah, he grabbed the cane or. So, am I physically in the room currently? Uh, that's up to you. Okay, I would like to step across the threshold into the room. Okay, yeah, and touch nothing. Okay. Okay. So being in the room doesn't knock you out. Cool. Good to know. All right. So I would like to take one of the golf balls out of my pocket. Mm -hmm. I'd like to bean it at Doc. Okay. Give me a throw. With a bonus. He's close enough for a bonus. Uh, I don't need the bonus. I got a 13. Um, Is a success. You, Keep you your hit balls Doc. off of me. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 you okay. hit. It bounces off Doc's body. <laughs> okay. So are you saying that Doc is unconscious? <sighs> yes. And okay. Is Doc holding on to anything? I mean, we don't know that he grabbed for anything, but the the man it's, that's on the machine is still slumped over it. Yeah, pro- probably when he fell down, he's landed in the, let's say he's, Part of him's touching either the cane or the guy on the machine, you know, because they were right next to each other. But the man laying over the machine's not doing anything. He looks like he's slumped. He looks out. he looks passed out too. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm actually running over to Doc to turn him over because okay. I don't know I don't know if he's got any wounds or not. Okay. Uh, as soon as you touch Doc, give me a power roll. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! You leave me alone in here. <laughs> Ah. Uh, okay. And then we'll hop to Doc and put Doc. Fail? Okay. All right. All right, Doc. So, um you as soon as you touch him, your your mind kind of uh the world around you starts racing and it looks like everyone's moving really fast. And the next thing you know, uh you see a uh, a soldier walking through through the room but you wouldn't recognize it but he's dressed up in a world war ii soldier's uh uniform but he doesn't seem to even acknowledge you're you're there and as you okay yeah you kind of uh look 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 around and you see that the uh there's a lot of uh, storage storage down there of uh, looks like military rations and and everything. This is I see this right. You see that, yeah. Okay. What the hell? Uh, where is is the machine and the people gone for me? Yes, they are. How am I? Um, and that guy didn't see me, huh? No, he he didn't. Well, I'm going to start looking around. Uh, okay. What's nearby? Uh, in so a basement or in the... You, the- you are in a basement. Uh, you know, it kind of looks like the, the same walls and, and everything. It looks like you've probably gotten a new, uh, new fresh set of fresh, freshly painted. Um. Well, I'm going to wander out of the room then. I'm going to see what else okay. has changed. So as you're kind of, as you wander out and you come come into uh, the basement, you can see down there that it looks like they there's a, a new, uh, there's a big pile of coal pile, piled up down, down in the basement now. The steps uh, look like they uh, have been recently rebuilt. Um, so if I make my way up and out of the basement, mm-hmm. yep. are there any other people? Am I yep. seeing? Yep. When you ca- come into the upper floor, you can see uh, more soldiers moving moving about. And when you come out the door, or one soldier kind of stops and looks at the basement door for a second, then just shakes his head and uh, continues continues walking. So they don't see me. No. Um, I'm. I don't recognize these bizarre uniforms that they're wearing. They don't look. They're similar color, sort of drab 
greenish gray, but um, I'll wander all the way to the front door. Okay. Is this you still want. the golf club? It, it's the same building, but it doesn't look like it's being used as a golf club oh, anymore. Uh, give me a spot hitter. 52. A pass. Regular. All right. As you're walking along, you happen to see a calendar on the wall, and it it reads that it, it is September 29th, 1939. You can give me a sanity roll. <laughs> yeah. 33. Yeah, I still have that much sanity. Okay, yeah. You're fine. I'll take one uh, point of damage. It's just kind of Just because you're like, what? <laughs> Lenny, you failed your power roll, correct? All right, so uh, when you uh, when you pass out, you're you're now standing there and you see uh, two other uh, gentlemen uh, standing there, there next to you that you don't reckon. Well, you recognize them if you looked at the two men laying on the cots, but the, this is them. They're standing there next to you, and they're like going, "You idiots! You now you're trapped in here with us." And that that other guy, he casts himself forward in time. What are you talking about? Who the hell are you? Because I'm, uh, I'm Doctor, uh, I'm Doctor uh, Lackey. This is Doctor Gilmore over here. We we built that machine, and until that moron over there, and they point at the uh, at McMillan Lane on the machine. Until he came along and fell on it, we had a t an off. T a timer that would turn the machine off so we could come back to our the present time. And now we're stuck because we can't get him off of the timer to kill for the kill switch. So I turn around and do I see McMillan laying on the machine? You do. You see Rory and Ian also kind of uh, standing there, but they don't see you moving around. You see your body laying on the ground too. That's a sanity check. Yeah. <laughs> um, I made it. Okay. I'm kind of out of body. What, what the hell is going on here? What the hell did you guys do? A machine? Yeah, we... Time machine? Well, if you want, it's more of a, how space and time can, can fold upon itself and... Well, then unfold the damn thing and get us out of here. Oh, you wouldn't I, under... And he goes into this... Uh, I'll, just grab, I'll just grab McMillan and get him off the machine and you go get over and fix it. Oh, yeah, good, good luck. For him. <laughs> so when you reach, you kind of just pass... Your arm passes right through McMillan's body. <laughs> All right. Rory and Ian. So you're standing there. You see Doc and Lenny laying on the ground now. Yeah. So, touching means we go bye bye, fall over time. Um, that wire that is running into the clubhouse, um, I presume, is like going into the like electricity ish room. So, I would like to take the uh, like like the blankets off the cot or something like that, something to wrap myself up warm ish in. Mm -hmm. Um. And then I would like to waddle back out into the cold room and sort of find the electrics telephone room that's on the gotcha. um, pl okay. plan here. All right. And Ian? Yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to follow along because I've seen all this that's <laughs> happened in here and I don't really want to touch anything either. Right. So I'm going to go see if I can be of any assistance. Okay. All right, Davey, you're you're you've entered into the clubhouse. So I come in, uh, just holding this arm, and I start to head to the basement, and then I'm like, oh, I don't have any kind of protection, so I wander off towards the golf shop uh, to grab a golf club. 
Uh, and then, you know, we'll start to head back. Okay. No problem. And then I start, take a deep breath, start heading down to the basement. Okay. Yeah. So as you come down, you notice the uh, inordinate amount of cold coldness down there. And we'll just say for convenience sake, you guys, uh, Rory and Ian, they come out of the uh, hidden hallway about the same time you get to the bottom of the steps and you guys uh, meet up. I just, you hear me, you know, I see y'all and I go, Black Jamie is real. And I like show my ass and, you know, hit arm. What happened to you? Jesus Christ. Fuck it. Can't get a good driver these days. Black right. Jamie is Black, real. Black Jamie's real. Right. Black yeah, Jamie Black licked so me. Real. I'm right. Okay. So I have wrinkles I didn't have <laughs> okay. 20 okay, minutes okay, ago. Okay. So normally I would think you're an absolute nutcase. However, um, we found a machine and some people that if you touch them, you you just pass out and I guess die. I don't fucking know. Um, I want to try and shut this thing off before we do anything else in the room. Uh, before it kills us too. Um, so we're going to this electronics room. Do you know electronics, Davey? Because I sure as shit don't. Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, a little bit, enough, but not a lot. Probably I no mean, more we than just you. just smash the thing up. And I hold yeah. up my golf glove and I'm like, that could work. Yeah. Is uh, that a rubber handle or not? <laughs> Might be uh, a real wood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wood would do it, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, there's only three doors. You you find find the one with the electrical box in it. has a uh, has a large electrical box and spray uh, painted across the front front of it. Live electricity. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Um. Is there anything else like inside this room other than the box? Um, uh, d- 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 nope. Okay. So now I'm trying to think of 1930s electricity. Uh, would I be able to open the box without like electri- electrocuting myself? Is that something I would know? Uh, you can give me electrical repair roll to oh, see really? if you would know that. Mm-mm. Don't know maybe, that. Maybe. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna open the box. Let's just just open it up nice and quick. Go sh- okay. Real quick. No, no point of contact. Go whip it open. Okay. Give me a luck roll. <laughs> I passed it. I passed okay. it. I yep. passed it. We're okay. Opens up, and you can see in there you've got got the fuses like you would expect to see, but it does look like it's been modified, you know, heavily. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So um, this is what I'm currently working with as a theory. Machine kill somehow. So if we turn off machine and then figure out how it works, we may be able to fix whatever the fuck is going on. So power here this building doesn't need power anymore we have lights we'll be okay so i i vote for smash the thing up with something that doesn't conduct electricity um unless someone else has a more eloquent solution um that that is what i currently vote for you said there was fuses in the box yep can i just take a fuse out and see what it does just kind of go one at a time sure yeah, I mean, they just unscrew. It's been a long time since I've actually seen a few. Yeah. yeah, they just unscrew. So I'll just take one out and see if it shuts it down. Okay. Uh, are you just going to kind of do brute to keep unscrewing until like? Yeah, I'm kind of doing the, the the test method. I unscrew okay, it yeah. and see what yeah. happens. Put it back in. Take the next. Gotcha. One out. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, we'll say. Uh, yeah, that's good. On your on your on the fourth fuse, you unscrew it and you hear the machine start to wind down. And then you hear this like uh, audible click and you hear it start spooling back up again. Backup generator. And, and Doc, you uh at that moment, you're when you're kind of like looking around, you kind of the world kind of like gets a little wavy 
and then you're you're back in the in the current times clubhouse in the same location where you'd walk, but now you're back to you know nineteen twenty eight. Am I laying on the floor or? No, you're you're upstairs where you had walked to when you were in nineteen thirty nine. So everything kind of changed. Um, I'm back. I'm going to go back down. Okay. See if I can find everybody. Oh, you, you go back down. You see uh, those three guys kind of messing with the electrical box in the, uh, the one room. I'm back, I say to them. And they, uh, all three of you give me a listen roll. No, no. Uh, of course, you hear you, you, you hear a uh, 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 yeah. What was that? Jesus mm. Christ! Can we go see if the? I'm gonna try sorry, to touch the machine's fucking Jesus. Right, it's fucking you gotta touch. You kind of pass pass through, and uh, whoever you you kind of touch, you know, if you've ever had that moment where just for some reason the hair on your arm stands up. It kind of you know, that happens to you as as his hand passes through your arm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to rookie and uh, put this against his head and fire. Okay. Wait a uh, second. <laughs> I want to see if you can. Uh, my hand went through you. The bullet's gonna go through you. No, 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 no. This is not fun. No, <laughs> so, no. So, 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 rookie. What, what you hear, Ian? What you hear? You hear this, this, uh, like, like your ear popped. You know. All right. <laughs> but you've been messing with electricity, so you know. Static electricity is what that was. So, I, let's, so I'm going back down to the into the other room. So uh, when you come around, uh, you see uh, Lenny sitting there with the the two docs uh, doctors, and they're uh, kind of shaking their head at Lenny as he's like trying to brute force grab McMillan. What the hell's like, going on? Like, like we're, we're we're trapped. We're trapped trapped in a different space time continuum than than everyone else. You know, Doc, you're back. Who are you people? Is that me? Yeah, it's you. You you went and grabbed McMillan. You know, without you know thinking. Uh, I'm Dr. Gilmore. This is Dr. Lackey. Again, we 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 made the machine. Um, we're trying to you know be able to explore the universe, but. People that didn't know what they're doing started messing with it. Now we're they're, stuck. They're upstairs trying to turn the machine off. Oh, well. Uh, and then uh, Dr. Gilmore kind of puts his head down. He's like, well, you know, I was worried about losing power. So I uh, installed a backup generator to, uh, that's outside. Uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. But it, now I see that uh, maybe... It's not. So why is he still passed out? Where did he go? Oh, um, well, he he, uh, ran into a a hound. Apparently, there's some hounds that move around when you start messing with time. Life changing. Yeah, and they, they... he wasn't as fast as us. They don't come down here for some reason, but when we went out outside, they uh, they hunted us down. So, are you saying that uh, Big Billin? That's his body, but Big Billin walked outside and encountered Black Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure they'll figure out there's an outside generator. Well, I I hope so. If not, you know, I guess we've got all time to to explore. We've we figured out how to project our mind forward and backwards. If you if you want, I think I was just forward. Nineteen thirty three. I saw oh. a calendar. Oh, 
fascinating. It was oh. a bunch of people in military, like there was a war going on or something. Oh, wow! We haven't we haven't been there, but you should be uh, be honored. You're one of the three people that has uh, traveled forward in time. Look, I got a job to do. I just got to get out of here and get back. How do we how do we get them to move that body? Well, we well to move the body. Uh, oof. What if they, they use like a golf club or something to shove him off? Might work. I mean, you know, as long as they don't accidentally touch anything, you know, electricity will find a find a way. But so, Doc, you said Doc Red was one of three people to go forward in the time. Who the heck were the other two? Me and Doctor Lackey. I thought you said you'd only gone backwards in time. No, backwards, forward. Have you been here long enough? It stops making sense. Well, I begin to wonder. Look, I got a gun. Mm -hmm. And I can't do anything to them, but I bet I can do something to you. Oh, you Figure could uh, you could you could shoot us, but I mean I don't think it's gonna do any good in here. I'll I'll put my gun down and I'll walk over to him with my fist. Mm -hmm. Shall we test it? Can I hit them? Yeah, yeah, you can you can you can swing swing at it. I'm just gonna and, pop uh, him a little. Give me a power roll. Oh, 16. Oh. That's a... Uh, I, I got a rip. Oh, well, you beat my regular. Yep. Yeah, you uh, you do kind of... You do you make contact. He's like, oh! Oh! It's like... It's like, wow. So now let's try this again. That's <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> How do we get the fuck out of here? Why can't we just go back in time and not install the backup generator or stop? Well, I I don't think you quite understand how this works. It's not like we're actually going back in time and 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 physically we're just projecting ourselves back in time. It's like watching one of the uh, moving pictures at the theater. Nobody could. Uh, I couldn't interact with anyone. Like I was trying to talk to uh, your one friend, friend when he was in the kitchen, telling him to come to the basement. He just he looked around like he heard something, but then it sort of works. It sort of works. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go back upstairs. Okay, to wherever they are. All right, and I'm going to. Try and get their attention and yell. Turn the power off. Okay, give me a power roll. Uh, 72. Mm. That's, yeah, that's 22 more than I have. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're like yelling. They're just, you see them talking amongst themselves. All right. Speaking of that, Ian, yeah, Ian, Roy, and Davy, what are you, what are you guys doing? Okay. So the wires that were reaching into the clubhouse, we've now disconnected. There are wires leading outside of the clubhouse, which we now need to interact with. I wonder, uh, it, this, this cable, I'd like to go back to the room. Again, not touching anything, not mm -hmm. touching anything. I'd like to observe the cable that's like leading out of the clubhouse. I can I tell what sort of material it may be made out of, like a, a rubber or a uh, like is it metal case? Like, what's the deal with that? Uh, we'll say it's metal. metal okay. Case. Yeah. Okay. Mm, my gun's probably not high enough caliber to shoot through it then. Um. Okay. So, David, did you see anything out on the golf course that looked like it could hold a generator of some sort? All I saw was Black Jamie uh, and my grandma. Uh, okay, well, Black Jamie's not going to fuck with three of us. So <laughs> let's go out and sort of head in the direction of the cable and figure it out from there. 
there was a there was a garden shed i think that was rebuilt was that wonderful we should aim for that we'll try that first uh, okay uh, i mean just just know black i mean like like black jamie's out there somewhere hey rookie and i have guns you have a club we'll be right um and let's go up the outdoor access bit down at the bottom of the map, the southern bit. Yep. Um, and you just sort of like peel around the outside of the the course. Okay. All right. Uh, Lenny, are you still down with the two doctors? I, I was while uh, uh, Red took off. Uh, I'm still looking at the machine and wondering why I can't. Uh, move McMillan. Um, so if I touch McMillan and try to pull him off of the machine, you just kind of ground. You just kind of pass through him because like his body's out of se- out of, time out sequence of with you. Okay, so I, I've I've kind of already gone through that. So now I'm I too am going upstairs, following Doc, and once I see the others. I'm thinking that maybe if I try to slow my speech, <laughs> I can and talk louder. Yeah, yeah, give me a power roll. I'm trying to communicate. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you just uh, are talking slow and loud. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So you came up here in the hallway. Doc, Doc, where are you in the building? I was trying to get them to to notice. Um, I I'm still in that same room. So if uh, Lindy's come upstairs, then I'm in the room. I just don't know what the hell to do. Okay. All right. All right, so so Roy, Ian, and Davy, as you uh, as you are exiting, um, you see the dog sitting there staring at the uh, at the clubhouse. It kind of uh, it times out for you wouldn't know this, but when Lenny gets upstairs up up out of the basement, it kind of rises up and starts sniffing, and you can see it's like. Uh, it almost kind of uh, flashes back and forth for a second. And you can see the bl- blue echoer dripping off of it. And Ian and Rory, you haven't seen it before, so you can give me a sanity roll. I passed I that. If you succeed, there's only one D3. One D3, okay. I think upon seeing Black Jamie, I go... No, 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 and just head back inside, like That's run you... back inside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fucking drivers. Don't touch the machine. Go down, uh, down the stairs. Yeah. So what what do you guys do, Ian and Roy? So uh like Rookie mentioned, there's a um a shed of some sort. Mm-hmm. Uh, nearby the grounds. I think that's the best first port of call. Uh, and then we start with that. And if that's not where the yep. generator is, then we work our way around to uh, find where else it could be. So as you're kind of walking there, the uh, Black Jamie just keeps... Gun drawn. Sti- yeah, Gun drawn Black, by the way. Black Jamie's almost like, ignoring you. He like kind of sniffs, but uh, a time traveler is closer that's uh, grabbing his attention. That's And so it's... Kind of staring right, right at the uh, at the building. So uh, you guys kind of make make your way al- along, and um, you do see the maintenance shed. It's not too far from the uh, building. It's kind of a they kind of hit it in like some uh, landscaping, so it wasn't so it wouldn't disturb the aesthetic of the of the golf course and all. But now that you knew, kind of know the direction it was because you saw where the wires were coming out. You can see, you do see it. Uh, 
And when you approach it, so the groundkeeper's uh, hut, it's a uh, small brick house. It is, um, and inside you can hear a, uh, a diesel power generator running. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I would like to try the door. The door is locked. Okay. I would like to try one of the keys from the foreman. All right. They, they do work. Okay. <laughs> wonderful. Okay. All right. So but, coming into the room with diesel generator, gun drawn, obviously looking in, what do I see? Uh, you see a, uh, a generator running and of course, you know, other groundskeepers, uh, you know, tools and everything's mm -hmm. hanging on the walls. Okay. Is there a switch on the generator? There is a switch on the generator. I would like to use one of the tools to flick the switch on the generator. Okay. Just in case. All right. Give me a luck. Success. Success. Oh, you're lucky. You kind of reach out there, you, you hit it, and the uh, generator starts, starts you know, winding down. <laughs> and uh, Lenny, you you're kind of standing there. You got you got Davy Davy uh, standing next to you, and then he starts to kind of like fade away, and it takes a moment to realize that that your your essence is being pulled back to your your body. And Davy, unfortunately for you, you're you're inside. Once that generator shut down. The uh, dog, the dog immediately s sits up, and it's almost like the barrier that was around the building keeping it out. It comes, oh, no. it comes charging at the at the door. Okay. <sighs> you know, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna swing at it. All right, with so, the golf club. All right, give me, a, give me a fighting bra. Okay, I'm all right in this. Uh, Forty six is a regular success. Nice. I got a regular also, so you hit. Nice. Um, just D6 kind of club damage. Yep. D6 plus uh, damage bonus. I don't have one of those. All right. Uh, I do five, though. Do five, yep. So he, as you hit it, it kind of uh, snarls at you. And give me a luck roll for it uh, as you hit it, because it, the acid on it kind of splatters as your club. Well, I've spent so much luck. I know. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 49 out of a 28. That's a fail. All right. So, ugh. it's a six. I rolled oh, yeah. <laughs> I only had three. <laughs> ah! Ah! So, uh, <laughs> so it, it comes, uh, it comes running. All right. Uh, Doc and Lenny, you, you guys are kind of pulled back into your, uh, your, your bodies there. Oh. The hell. And oh. you hear this. Ow! Let, let me get off of me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you fell on me earlier. God. <laughs> are the two doctors here? Yep, they are. They're they're sitting up in their, their cots. And they're like, like uh oh. I it, I think your friends turned off the generator. <laughs> I told you that's what they were going to do i know but i i, I didn't think that the the, the hound the hound he, he, he it's here but you 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 said that he wouldn't come down here you, you yeah when the, the when the off. yeah the power's off power's off he gets uh one of them gets up and he uh he starts running i'm gonna put i'm gonna grab mcmillan mm -hmm. and throw him onto the ground so he's not on the machine Okay, yeah. And grab his cane. Okay. Um, we got to get the power back on. <laughs> <laughs> so I also will run up the stairs to follow. Okay, so, so you go running up the stairs. Lenny, what do you yeah. do? Hell, I ain't going to stay here. If they're running, I'm running. Okay, all right. Now I got a quick question for you to back in. So when I had gone up and I had tried to interact with the other three that were upstairs and you said that the hellhound actually started paying attention to my essence, did I see the thing? No, because the doors were shut. 
Okay. But now that you're running up the stairs, uh, Dr. Gilmore had ran up the stairs first and Doc, uh, Rhett, Doc Red, as you, as you get up there, you see the uh, hound uh, l- got its tongue kind of wrapped around, around Dr. Gilmore and you see him just rapidly aging. Almost like, uh, what was it, Last Crusade, where the guy that drank from the wrong yeah. cup. <laughs> and you can give me a sanity roll for seeing a hound of ten- Tindillus. <laughs> I got a 26, of course. Uh, 1d3. Oh, okay. And same for you, Lenny. <laughs> Oh no! One. 90. So okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen, I've seen people with acid before. <laughs> I saw him screwing with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, the fuses. Okay. All right. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run over and try to put the fuses back. All right, Lenny, with your failed sanity, it's a one d twenty. I'm sure. Why would I pull out a one d twenty on a Cthulhu game? <laughs> it's not a 1d12 <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 that's a true that's a true sanity loss since there's not... <laughs> it wasn't that bad only eight only eight all right is that uh that push you past your 20 percent threshold well eight itself would but yeah take, all right take pick. <laughs> oh yeah yeah eight does okay give me a d8 for your bout of madness <laughs> nothing to see here what dog come on three Oh, a one. A one. Yeah, you're right. You got amnesia. What? What the? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, Davey, uh, give me a constitution roll to see if you die, since you didn't lose it all in one shot. Okay. Uh, Con is low two. Yeah. Oh, but I got an 11 out of 25. All right. Yes. You're, you're hanging on. Ian and Rory, what, what are you doing? Uh, seeing that we haven't seen or heard terribly much, I think we're not super in a hurry to get back to the 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 the, the club room. Like we're going to be going that way, obviously. Um, but you know, did, as far as at least Rory's concerned, turned it off. Fucking sweet. Now we can go see <laughs> what the deal is. Um, yeah. So just like sauntering back happily, probably playing with my gun, just like. Happy days. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not that, but. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you guys are sauntering back. All right. Uh, Doc, you're, you're messing with the fuses, trying to yeah. screw them back in. Okay. And I'm, I've got uh, my half eye on that thing. So. Okay. Uh, I'll give you your choice. You can do an electrical repair or do a luck. And luck. I were a betting man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. We spend luck on luck. <laughs> no. All right. So, so you, you're, just, you're, yep, you're screwing and screwing in, in there. Uh, you see the uh, the dog unwraps its tongue from uh, Doctor Gilmore, and then it turns to look at Lenny, who's just kind of sitting there, like going, "Where am I? What?" <laughs> And Lenny, uh, it is going to take a, a tongue swipe at you. And I'll give it a, a bonus die since you're kind of in a bout of madness there. All right. Yep. It hits you. Four. Oh, 14 power drained. Fourteen years off his life. Yep, in fourteen years, uh, you get fourteen years older. <laughs> and we'll say that kind of snaps you out of your like amnesia as you're kind of like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> All right, all right. I think uh, Davy, it's time for another con roll. Okay. Uh, that's a, that's a twenty. Nice. That is just a willed, willed, 
Will to live. Will to live. The, the will to live. The grandma's cookies. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Ian and Roy. Well, I I I assume that like, I'm going straight down to the basement from the outside. Okay. As, as soon as you come in, you see uh, the dog's got got the tongue wrapped wrapped around Lenny, and uh, Lenny's like, oh. <laughs> uh, Davy's laying on the ground uh, with holes in his body from the acid. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I'm going to walk towards the thing and shoot it. All right. Fire away. Uh, it is a regular success. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use its uh, ability. Uh, it flashes out of existence and you shoot Lenny. Oh, great. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> uh, so roll damage. <laughs> I rolled a four. Uh, <laughs> Dad! Uh, do you need to roll a location since I got a uh, chest armor on? Uh, yeah, I'll roll it. I'll roll, it. roll for where it hits you. <laughs> where was it wrapped around? Uh, it's kind of wrapped around his uh, head. That's where they go for. So uh, fourteen is the uh, is the uh, body. So yeah, as a dog's big, so it's a build uh, build two. So it's bigger than. All right, so so you shoot shoot him. The dog kind of blinks out of existence. All right, Doc, give me a uh, luck roll, but this time with a bonus die because you have less fuses to pick from. Okay. Is Ian in the room yet? Yes, I just got here. Okay. Ian, which fuse? Oh, it's oh, this boy. one in my pocket. <laughs> it's the five amp one. <laughs> throw it to me. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I throw. No, no, I'm gonna over. I'm gonna run over there. Okay. <laughs> All right, so so you run over, and I'm telling and then, him that the the machine is keeping the thing away, and we're all awake now. So, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna right. turn right. back on the dog's dog's turn. Paul, oh. I'll go. Oh. All right, Lenny, it's got a taste for you, so it so it flashes back into existence, and it's going to take another uh, tongue swipe at you. It uh, likes its meat age. So I'm fighting back. Yep. And, uh, oh, because yeah. I was caught unaware, the best I can do at this point, I, I'll uh, use my brass knuckles, and then as soon as I get a chance, I'll reach for my gun. Okay. Give me a fighting brawl. <laughs> so is this what they mean by a tongue lashing? That's right. <laughs> One man in history to punch out a pound pound into a dog. <laughs> Ooh, that's uh, I'll spend four to make it an extreme. Ooh, oh, yes. nice, yeah. Okay, so you hit it. Uh, roll your damage. So uh, extreme. So the base is uh, it's a it's a blunt weapon. So it does um, it just does max damage. Right. Yeah. Well, that was max damage. That I have is ten. And so it I does ten. It does 10. It's not penetrating. That's where you okay. get the extra roll. So you do 10. Give me a luck roll to... Uh, no, you're punching it. You're, the acid's going to get on you no matter what. Right. Okay. So, okay. So it hits you for... Oh, so, uh, it hits you for seven points as your hand kind of starts melting from acid being on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> All right, Ian. <laughs> Shaky hands. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll let you pick. You. I'll let you, I'll let you pick. You can do a electrical repair, a deck, or a dex to uh, get it sc screwed in right with the shaky hands. Okay. That's a dex no. roll for me. That's the best no, no, thing. No, no, no one ever takes I'm putting myself between Ian and the monsters. Okay. Oh, wow. Two. 
Two. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you you get that that, and as soon as you do, you hear the power coming coming back on. The dog kind of looks up up for a, a moment, and then it uh, kind of blinks out, and then you see it again out on the on the golf course. Then it uh, starts. It kind of blinks out out again, and looked frustrated. Also, didn't like being punched by Lenny. And Lenny, since that was your half uh, half your hit points in that damage, give me a con roll. Ooh, that's uh, one away from a hard. All right, you don't pass out then. Okay. All right, so you guys uh, find yourself in the uh, thing there. Davey, con roll. All right, let's see if I can do this three times in a row. Come on. It's a 32. Uh, that's seven away. Can I spend seven luck? Sure. To not die, yes. To not, to not die. You got a 25 constitution? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The will to live is real strong with that low of constitution. All right. All right. Okay. So you guys kind of uh, calm down. Did only uh, one doctor come out of the basement? Yeah, the other one stayed down there. I'm going down into the basement. Okay. Duck, yeah. duck, duck. They are worth more alive to us now. Well, yeah. I mean, we can go into the future, the past, and find out what the winning lottery tickets are. <laughs> the Irish sweepstakes. Sure. Um, don't kill them. Don't rough them up too bad. Well, one's uh, dead. <laughs> one's dead. Wonderful. All right. Great. Love that. Fantastic information. Um, so Lenny's currently not passed out, but he's hurting, and Davy is currently actively trying not to die. Uh, I slipped on my hand, it. my God. I go and there's my crazy. Uh, don't be God, such a cry, baby. <laughs> Just wipe it off. I got hand, Doc. Any, anyone want to give Davy first aid? Yeah, I'll come over <laughs> to Davey to give him first aid. That's yeah. what I'm trying to establish. Like, who do I need to give first aid to? Yeah. <laughs> my face looks like an oil painting now. Okay, I'm going to spend 10 luck to make it a success. All right, all right, Davey. So you, you get one point back, and you you're no longer have to uh, keep making miraculous combos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll fall here for Captain Ian. Yeah. I don't have the power to make him a captain, but yeah. I think he deserves it. Uh, all right, so you go, you go down to get uh, the uh, Dr. Lackey. Yeah. And a big question is, um, what are you doing on our property uh, fiddling around in our basement? <laughs> well, it, it was abandoned when we first started messing with it. Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, Mr. Shaw, it's up to you what we want to do with this guy. Right, well, if no one's actively dying now, um, I think we reconvene at the machine and work out what's going on. So, okay. Macmillan's still here, and Mc the other doctor's still here. Yes, yeah. Mc Macmillan's the doctor. Like he, he, he's like oh, Macmillan's dead. dead. Doctor Lucky's yeah. still here. Yeah. So it's just Dr. Lucky left. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, and uh, the dog is still outside. So yes. you've got McMillan's body. Let's grab him and get the hell out of here. I've got uh, his uh, cane. We don't need this fucking body. I will take his body too. We may as well. Um, Let's take his head. But if that thing comes hmm. up at us again, drop it and sprint. Um, so my. Uh, <laughs> First of all, what the fuck? Second of all, what the fuck? Uh, third of all, would you like a new job? Um, well, you guys have guns, so I'm assuming I don't have a great choice in this. Well, it, you get to choose your job. It's either work for us or die. So, like, you know, uh, it's it's certainly a great choice. Um, ah. <laughs> wonderful. Um, so we're going to pile into the car. 
Hey, rookie, you're no longer rookie. He's rookie. Right. So, rookie, pick yeah. up the body. We're going into the car. We're going to get the fuck out of here. So, Dr. guns Racky up. Street. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. He's strong enough to carry that guy. Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh. So, guns up, into the car. Peace out. That is the plan. All right. So, you get, get to the car, put. Put McMillan in, into the uh, boot. And Jesus, uh, Davey, what did you do to our car? It's all smashed up. Like Jamie's oh, rail. You got sun, a sunroof here. Is, can uh, someone else drive? This guy's no, in no I'll fucking drive. condition. Beautiful. I'll drive. I'll hold my gun out the window. <laughs> Ready to go. All right. All right. So. As you start driving, you uh, you look in the uh, rearview mirror, and you see the uh, you see the dog co- coming after you. Dog's coming. I'm gonna put the gas pedal down. All right, give me a uh, drive auto. I don't know what my drive auto is. <laughs> I got an 07 out of twenty. Nice, That's nice. nice. That's a, a hard. All right. So you guys drive. You you leave it leave it behind. Uh, he's been leaning out the uh, the uh, window. He's mm-hmm. he's got his gun hand bandaged, but he's got his uh, automatic in the other hand, and he's taking shots at the beast. Okay. Yeah. Three round clips. So. Yeah. You fire away. Yeah. You guys make it back to back to London. Um. You go report to Paul, and we'll just kind of summarize it here. Uh, unfortunately for Lenny and Doc, you uh, traveled through time and got a hound's uh, attention. So you have maybe about a year left in the world because it will it It'll will hunt you. you down. Yeah, it hunts down Doctor Lackey first, and then keeps keeps going, but. Ian's no longer a rookie. Uh, Davey is. Uh, what happened to you? I'll, I'll I mean, <laughs> I imagine. I imagine half my face is just a wreck from mm-hmm. from acid. My arms are wreck. I can't drive anymore because this arm's just permanently damaged. Uh, I think. Da- I think. I think Jamie uh, or Jamie Davey. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Jamie thinks he's he's Davy. Uh no, he um I think he he retires and just stays at home just always like looking yeah. out the window. It probably gets worse when uh when Lenny and then Doc start disappearing and the, uh, you yeah, if you go to their funeral you know that oh they're they're old. <laughs> yeah. All right. And Rory, you, you got out pretty uh pretty scathing. Uh, Pretty, Somehow. pretty well, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're all. You move up in the organization, you know, for your your uh, good leadership on the trip. <laughs> Excellent. All right, all right. So I think. Um, so, what was going on was those two guys they had set up a machine so they they could travel through space and time, and they had been doing it for a while. But no, their trips were no longer than uh, ten minutes at a time because they they had the little switch. Well, the, by messing with the fabric of time, that's why the workers kept getting weird weird things because the uh, boundary was starting to to slip, and that's why Black Jamie started showing up because the hound was trying to figure out what was going on, and they built some way to keep it out of the uh, the clubhouse. When McMillan came to inspect because he was getting desperate because he was uh, losing money in the stock market and he was wanting to get this organization up and running because he thought that was the way. He he discovered the blueprints, went down there to check it out, and he went to turn off the machine. As soon as he touched it, he fell and he jammed the kill switch so it wouldn't turn off. And so the fabric kept getting worse and worse, and that's why uh, the physics of the bill weren't making sense anymore. So, yeah. Cool. Interesting that we had another hound of ten dollars just 
Yeah. Was Lucky great. Me. After the other town of two, two stories where I get killed, I always get killed by hounds and dollars. Wonderful. <laughs> it's one of my favorite mythos creature, creatures. Yeah. So, all right. Our players included. Our players included Bill Riggle, Riley Kruger, Kent Blue, Julian Arba, and myself with Keith Craig as the keeper of the secrets. We have a Discord server where you can chat with our other members. You can set up private games. You can learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Podbean or iTunes. If you'd like to help support our show, please visit our Patreon account. Just a dollar to a month helps us a lot. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows. And leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answering any questions you might have. This is Tom Riley, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure in the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Until next time, good luck and good gaming.